Well, this air pollution isn't good for our health. New at 10, Caroline Dade has you covered on the symptoms doctors are treating and how they say you can stay healthier until the air clears up. As smoky skies blanket southern Wisconsin, doctors are seeing more patients come in with respiratory symptoms caused by the polluted air. Well, last night I was on call and there was a two-year-old who needed a refill on a breathing treatment uh, medication because they were having difficulty breathing. Dr. Andrew Lewandowski says right now it's important for people with conditions like asthma and COPD to stay out of the smoky air as much as possible. If you have a chronic medical condition that's affected by air pollution, make sure you're staying on top of those medications and doing what you can so that we don't have to end up seeing you in the clinic or in the ER. Everyone is feeling the impacts of this poor air quality differently. And Lewandowski says that means different doctors are seeing different effects in their patients. As a pediatrician, for me, the coughs and colds are, are never ending, and usually it's the air quality that's compounding um, these existing diseases for my patients. And he says kids are more susceptible to the air pollution. They breathe faster, and so the chemicals that they're breathing in are also affecting their bodies more because of their increased respiratory rate. Even for adults, Lewandowski says long-term exposure to polluted air can cause major health problems. We know that with increases in air pollution, we also see increases in things like preterm birth or cardiovascular diseases or heart disease, autoimmune disease, cancer, uh, and even behavioral and neurodevelopmental conditions and dementia. So he says it's important for all of us to be aware of air quality and minimize exposure when the pollution climbs. In Madison, Caroline Dade, 27 News. Lewandowski says once the air clears up, the short-term symptoms people are feeling, like scratchy throats and itchy eyes, will go away, and people will be able to comfortably spend time outside.